So hello and welcome to day three of 25 days of Dax Riders Challenge where I will post 25 challenges in 25 days. Okay, if you are new to this, go to the description down below, check all the details, it's not too late to start, okay? So let's go through solution of day three question. Let's get started. Okay, today's question is not too hard. So it's how many products cost between $15 and $25, okay? First of all, we're going to do without DAX, so we can check the solution, and then we will do it with DAX. So, how many products cost between 15 and 25? Products, so the first thing that we need is the product name, for example, you can put product ID, whatever you want. Then cost between 15 and 25, we need the unit price. We have it there. And now we're going to use the filter panel to get the answer. So unit price is going to be inclusive 15. So is a bigger than or equal to 15 and is less than or equal to 25. Apply. And this will filter the list, but we need to know how many. So we're going to put product again, product name, and we count. Count. And we have 25 products. Okay, so how do we do it with DAX? This is an easier DAX measure. So we're going to put the day three. And the first thing that we need to do is we're going to count how many products. You normally would count product ID. You can count product name in Northwind because the names are unique. So we're going to count the product name doesn't matter, product ID. And then we are going to count on what? Wait, sorry. Ah, ooh. We're going to give DAX a table where we wanted to count the products. So the table that you're going to get DAX is the product table where the unit price is bigger or equal, sorry, bigger or equal then 15, and then you can do the ampersand or you can do comma. If you put filter on filter on filter, it's like an and, so it's like, a, you know, these andies. So it doesn't matter which syntax you use, product, and then the unit price is less or equal than 25. Okay, you need to put first the less or, or the bigger than and then the equal, otherwise you'll get an error. Be careful with that. So. We put a card and there we have our 25 products. Okay, so I hope you're enjoying the challenge this far. You're going to get a little bit harder DAX, but hopefully you will fix it anyway. So I will see you again tomorrow with day four.